called Revelations, you know what I'm saying? Revelations 12. At birth, I was given the name. Peace. Here we go. Another day from the death of apocalypse. Dogs to God's entertainment with a quick word of reflection, a quick word of inspiration with the help of Almighty God Allah. You know, I was sitting here and I was reflecting on the fact that everyone, you know, don't process everything the same way. <laughs> so, we could be looking at the same thing and we could see something different, you know, and that's understood because each one of us are individuals. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're all, uh, you know, none of our fingerprints are the same. You know, you know, you know the whole story, right? So we're all different and we're all born into this world, you know, personally to I, I put, you know, I believe personally we're all born in this world to specifically do something <laughs> that, no, that no one else is born to do. I believe that, you know, everybody doesn't have the same mission, you know what I mean? And so everybody, you know, we don't see things the same way. So I'm grateful to Almighty God, Allah to have a man in front of us like the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan because he entered the class <laughs> that we entered, those of us who are in the Nation of Islam. We all received the same information, the same teachings. We all had to recite <laughs> student enrollment we it, we all had to uh learn the actual facts you know what i mean and we all have the supreme wisdom knowledge to study we all have access to the words of the honorable the most honorable elijah muhammad through lectures through videos through you know table talk through a lot of different articles you know what i mean we all have access to Dominus Louis Farrakhan's lectures, his articles, his, you know, s some of us even had encounters with him, experiences with him, words directly from his mouth to us. And so, um, and then if the way I process even his lectures is like all of the words are for me first before they're for anybody else. And then, you know, to the degree that they're for somebody else, that's on them <laughs> to receive those words, you know, for themselves to be able to actually use them for their own lives. So if everybody sees things, you know, unalike, then I have to know myself well enough <laughs> to understand what's being said to me so understand what i hear you know and why i'm hearing it and why i hear it the way i hear it so what am i to do as a result of what i'm hearing the way that i'm hearing it what do i see with my eyes you know what i mean why do i see what i see you know the way that i see it you know what I mean? And then what am I to do as a result? The do is always the most important thing. What am I to do as a result of what I see? What do I do as a result of what I hear? What do I do as a result of what I'm learning, the knowledge that I'm gaining access to? What do I do with the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad that this world intended to destroy and to erase right and then and then there are those who feel like you know they received a certain uh the the teachers of our Elijah muhammad in a way where they feel like they know the way to go from here which is fine everybody have that you know to deal with within them all with, with within their own self like in the mirror truth you have that to deal with. I have that to deal with the way I process the teachings of Ahmad Muhammad. And I'm grateful to Allah for a man like the Ahmad Muslims Farrakhan who Allah has positioned 
a certain way. You know what I mean? Through his works, you know, and has positioned a certain way in his love for the God and the Alhamdulillah Muhammad that he would present them to us <laughs> out front, you know what I mean? And he, as a student of them, evolved in what they gave him. And so now this is the, uh, personally, this is a perfect example of how I'm to look at this thing and see how I move in this direction. So how do how is it processing? How is it processing? Okay, as it's processing, what am I to do? What am I to do? Because it's always that I'm to do something. The difference between, uh, I won't say, because I, religion, I don't, I was talking to a brother yesterday. He, was talk, he kept talking about religion. Well, oh, I heard that Muslims is this, this. Okay, you heard. Who told you that? And then when you heard it, what did you do with it? Like, did you look into it? Oh, okay, this, are you just repeating it because you heard it? Like, okay, what does it mean? What did it mean to you when you heard it? Like, I don't want to hear, oh, this religion, that religion. I don't want to talk about religion. Like, religion is a, is, is a, is rituals, is a tool, is a, a vehicle to get us reconnected to the God of our understanding. So I don't want to talk about religion. Religion is too divisive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Islam is given as a religion. Somebody posted something about that the other day. Listen, stop confusing the issue. Like, it's it's not confusing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Islam is our nature. If you're a Christian, it's your nature to do what is taught that Christ did, which is became one with a lot, like you know, what I'm saying the principle is more important than the than, than the doctrine. You know, what I'm saying, what do you do? What do I do with what I'm reading? What do I do with what I'm hearing? What do I do? Do do do. <laughs> That's our words, David. That's what Parker's. What do I do? <laughs> do. <laughs> Don't say do. Uh, enjoy your day, peace. <laughs>